Hello and welcome to this ARIMA time series model. In the last video, we discussed how to get the data and how to find out the daily moving averages for 7 days and for 30 days and then we saw how to smoothen out the data removing the outliers. Having said that, we move on to the next one which is STL which is seasonal decomposition of time series. This is to prepare the data and make sure that uh, it's ready for ARIMA. To do that, we are going to use the 7 day moving average with frequency 13 and we are going to omit all the null values. So any omit is going to omit the null values in the data or any values which are missing. Good. Let's decompose the data. So I'm going to use the Randall moving average and I'm going to decompose it using the window periodic. Then I'm going to plot this decomposed Randall and you would see interesting stuff. So this is the decomposed data. And remember in the discussion in the first video of this ARIMA model, video number 38, uh, this is the data. So this is the trend of the data. Uh, this is the 30 day moving average. These are the seasonal components, the up and down you see and you can see that this bike rental data is pretty seasonal. This is seasonal in, in, in component trend. This is the trend line. So trend went high, low, high. This is the trend extracted out of this data and these are remainder. Remainder means residual values, errors. So you can see how the decomposition of data has happened between data, seasonal, trend, and remainder. Interesting. So this is seasonal adjustment for this decomposed rental and we call it as ADJ rental. And AGD, ADJ rental would be used for the auto arima or ARIMA processing. So now you have this data, ADJ Renal, and this data now should be used. Let's do a plot on this real quick. So this is the smoothened out data, moving average data, which is ready for now ARIMA model processing. And you can see how much effort it has been put in to get this data ready for ARIMA. Now this is the ARIMA model. You will write fit ARIMA ADG Renal. I'm using this data. Orders 117 or you can say 115. So this is PDQ, remember from the discussion earlier. So this is the fit. Then use forecast to forecast fit fit two, let's call it two, and h equal to 30. So for 30 days, you can see that this is for, sorry, we have to plot the forecast, and you can see that this has been plotted for the, so this is the, the mean forecast, this is 80% up and down and this is 95%. So 80 and 95% the gray band. So this is your manual thing and you can change this to seven or zero and you can see that this would show you different, different predictions. But I want to do a, an auto arima Everything remains same for auto arima except that you would not mention any order which is PDQ. It's on or it's gonna derive automatically. And there is no seasonal component. So I've I've mentioned seasonal equal to false. So forecast and plot forecast. And this is your auto arima, and it says that see it's using one, one, and one for your forecasting 
and if you want to find out more about what it does on this fit you can see that this is what it has used this is the standard error 0.071 AIC AICC and BIC next is I'm going to do I introduce a seasonal component so AIC is a cake information comparison and BIC is Bayesian information comparison so not comparison criterion so AIC is a cake information criterion and BIC is Bayesian information criterion uh, search on these two values and it's basically tells you that how good or bad your model is and uh, to me here AIC and BIC at this point in time are not too far it's kind of close so let's look at the seasonal component all you have to do in auto arima is to make seasonal equal to true so fit seasonal this is forecast seasonal the three steps as it is And you can see that in the seasonal plot, there's a seasonal component of the value which is being predicted. So this is Arima, Auto Arima, and without season, and this is with season. So time for some hands-on. So in the same data set, which is the bike sharing data set, I have used day.csv file to do this analysis and show it to you your your task is do the same analysis using our.csv which is part of the same data set as i mentioned if you go to this web link and get the data you would get two csv files one would be your day.csv another would be your hour.csv use hour.csv to do exactly the same what i did to get a get the code which i have used here Please follow the Google Share Drive link, which is mentioned in the email below. Uh, not email, but the description section of the video below. Thank you for watching.